Poteria. My little Anne Frank journal. <laughs> we have written endless poems about sorrow, from honoring the death of our sisters and brothers from Buenarapo to Sakia, Gun, Lawrence King to Ruby Rodriguez, these poems have already been written. And it's such a shame that whenever we're called upon to honor the lives of our prophets already in coffins because too often they have taken upon themselves to silence our tongue, hunted our skin, celebrated the death of our kings and queens, pushed the back into closets, no borders and fences, disconnected our spirit from the sacred. But it's undeniable that the queer spirit is resilient for we have survived for centuries without proper recognition. Written in land is the fact that we have existed since the beginning because we were all born prophets carrying legacies and histories in our own bodies. It is our speech, sacred wind that blows as a reminder that we are still present, alive, and thriving. You stand as living proof that our sexualities are just as natural as the flowers bloom. You are anointed prophet carrying, carrying legacies and histories in our own bodies. You stand as living proof that you are heaven sent, anointed prophet, reflection of God. This poem is for you, for what you represent, for all the times you felt caged and bled your feelings on a page, for every insult disrespecting your name. This is for you, because you have broken through on with your truth. You are here helping paint the world the color of rainbows, and we thank you. You are our ancestry in progress, leaving blueprints for future queer brown babies to build with. You are inspiration, testimony to the fact that we have traveled so many roads across different borders. We are here, chanting your name as a community. You are movement, like oceans and suns. You are picture perfect, butterfly wings, you are fly. This poem is for you, for what you represent to young girls who love the taste of femininity on their lips, color boys who prefer the arms men to clothe their bodies with. These words are sacred medicine for every bruise, every suicide path. This is a kiss planted on a neck, a protest sign in every march, a melody in every chat. This is for us, because we've made it across those troubled waters. We have made this our home, find unity and strength in our own voice, because too often we have written poems about sorrow, poems about the slaying of our sisters and brothers too often. We have brought flowers to the memory, washed away blood from treatment, but tonight we bring those spirits song, offer poems and prayers for healing. This ceremony is for warriors. We offer you blessings. We rejoice in your name with our hands towards the heavens. We say blessed be the day. Creator, gift you with your duality. We have written endless poems about sorrow, but starting today we should write about our smiles, about the way we dance in defiance, hold each other near and craft a new drum. Sing a new song, you are legacy, a prophecy, a dream come true. Tonight you celebrate the fact that you are holding it down for a whole tribe of people that will never, ever, ever surrender. So take these words and place them in your medicine bag and remember that no matter what road you take, we got your back. You are already gifted and anointed, so the only, must truth, the only truth you must follow is your own.